Hello, everyone. My name is Matt Daly. I'm a co-founder and CEO here at Struction Site. So in the next 15 minutes, I'm uh, going to take you guys through our journey from the job site where we got some of our first ideas through to the maze of dead ends we traveled through when trying to turn our mostly bad ideas into a product, then finally into the major technology shifts that, that made it possible for us to turn Struction Site into a real business. I'll finish with what our product does today and how we will continue to evolve it in the future uh, as far as capturing data and then quantifying it to track work and construction. So that agenda looks something a little bit like this, starting with my first employer, Faro Technologies, then the company I started with my co-founder, Philip, which was called Rhythm, uh, our journey to Struction Site and how we got started there. And finally, a look at our product today how are tracking scopes of work like concrete and walls and ceilings? So a little bit about my personal background. I studied mechanical engineering at the University of California in San Diego. And my first job out of college was in sales for a company by the name of Ferro Technologies. The image that you're seeing on the screen here is a portable 3D scanning device that we sold primarily to aerospace and automotive companies. So I spent the first uh, four years at Faro working with companies like Boeing and Tesla, helping them implement these 3D scanning devices uh, directly into their production line to reduce rework and waste. And, and that's a theme that, that kind of carries through forward all the way into what we do at Struction Site today. In 2011, that company Faro made a name for themselves in, in the construction world when they released this small lightweight 3D scanner that was designed to scan entire buildings. So from manufacturing facilities, I suddenly found myself shifting to talking with contractors and walking on job sites. And I'll never forget the first time that I walked onto a job site in 2011 and thought that I had traveled back in time 30 years. No models, no robots, no automation, just very few digital tools. For my co-founder, Philip, the state of the art for tracking progress on the job site was walking around with a set of paper drawings and a highlighter just manually marking down work that had been installed. And I remember the first time I got the itch to start my own company was having this really strong belief that it was only a matter of time before construction caught up to manufacturing. And so I figured I could take these concepts from manufacturing, uh, like comparing a 3D scan data set to a 3D model and, and apply them to construction. In 2013, I actually wrote up a spec for a piece of software I was gonna call BIM Verify. And BIM Verify does exactly what you would think it, it does. It compares the 3D scan of a building to the 3D model of a building and tells you where there's deviations. Uh, I was absolutely convinced that this BIM Verify product was going to be the future of construction and just completely change the way things worked. And I can confidently say now that knowing what I know, uh, I may have invested years into you know, a company that was maybe 10 or 15 years ahead of its time. So. What saved me from my own inexperience with construction? And the answer is this guy. Uh, it was really sort of like my own lack of knowledge about construction was, was sort of helped by sharing my idea with somebody that actually works in construction. Uh, so I mentioned this is my co-founder, Philip Lorenzo. We met in 2012 while he was working as a virtual design and construction engineer at McCarthy Builders, which is a large general contractor here in North America. Uh, he was on a billion dollar hospital project, one of the largest projects that that company had ever done alone at the time. And I had sold his company, their first 3D laser scanner. And Philip was the poor guy that was responsible for taking these massive 3D point cloud data sets and turning them into something useful as a deliverable for a contractor. Uh, and, and one of those deliverables was basically determining whether the concrete was flat and level, right? So uh, basically checking for flatness and levelness, creating these heat maps and these contour maps uh, to show where you needed to cut or fill a slab in order to make sure that it met the spec. And Philip was the guy calling me at 11 o'clock at night to tell me how much my software sucked uh, because it did not meet his needs as a contractor. And I just remember thinking at the time, why don't you do something that, that is better than this? You build the software that, that you need and that solves your problem. And, and so he did. Uh, he left his job in 2013 and I gave him some seed money to start building software to automate a lot of the work that he was doing manually as a contractor. Uh, the bet that I was placing at the time was not that this was the idea that we could ultimately scale up. Uh, the bet was just that this guy, Philip, was going to come up with something that was truly game-changing 
I just had no idea what that was or when that would be. Uh, he called this first company Rhythm, and it completely changed the way construction companies were able to use reality captured data to, to manage their day-to-day -day operations. Uh, the first application was measuring and analyzing concrete slabs to check for high and low spots, uh, as I mentioned, but it was clear that builders were excited about the possibility of using this data to do more, to do measuring of progress, to share site conditions with people that were off site. Uh, in many ways, Rhythm was a success, but we never could scale that business or do more really than concrete slab analysis. And, and there's a few really critical reasons why. And these were our sort of major learnings as we got more into the 3D laser scanning and construction world. And the first was just 3D laser scanning equipment is big and expensive. No superintendent or foreman was ever going to capture their site on a regular basis. It was just completely impractical. Second, the capture time was extremely slow. If you wanted consistent data capture, scanning was a full-time job and nobody was going to dedicate the time or the staff to making that happen. And third, processing was also extremely slow. So in addition to slow capture, you had slow processing. You've got pretty good, you know, big equipment, slow capture, slow processing. This is not a recipe for success. And so we're, we're at this time thinking, now what? Uh, then this is sort of a low point in our journey. Uh, Philip had built a good business that generated a profit, but the addressable market was tiny because you needed construction companies to buy this $50,000 laser scanner that sits on this tripod uh, and spend 24 hours processing the data before anybody could use it. It just, it just couldn't scale, and, and we were stuck. And then something happened that I think is incredibly common in the journey of, of many startups. There was this major shift in technology that opened up a completely new approach to capturing job sites in a more digital format. Uh, it was around 2015. And uh, if you can remember 2015, everybody wanted to strap on a VR headset and see things in virtual reality. Um, and, but the content for these VR headsets was computer generated and just not very realistic. So this need for more realistic 360 degree visual content uh, drove a handful of camera manufacturers to produce these simple, affordable, consumer-grade 360-degree cameras, and everything changed. What this meant for the construction industry uh, and for our company is that the cost of digitizing the job site was going from a $50,000 scanner down to effectively zero, and the data processing was also becoming near instantaneous or incredibly fast. And so that was one wave that we were riding but, but it wasn't the only one. It wasn't just that the cost of capture was approaching zero. We were also riding this second major technology wave that had begun back in 2012, uh, which is when the first deep learning approach uh, to image recognition you know, crushed the competition in the ImageNet visual recognition challenge put on by the Stanford Vision Lab. You know, computers can now recognize objects and photos faster and more accurately than a human can do, and they can do it at scale. So the value of an image is skyrocketing and you have these, these dual sort of waves of image data capture costs declining to nothing, value of imagery itself rising sharply. Uh, I call attention to this because uh, they say timing is everything. And when it comes to a new venture, that is absolutely the case. Sometimes you just got to get a little lucky. Um, at this point, my co-founder, Philip, created a pretty rough looking PowerPoint deck and hit the road to pre-sell the software that we wanted to build. The slide you're looking at here is actually pulled directly from that original deck, uh, which was our first crude mock-up for Struction Site, uh, including RFI markups that we manually placed onto the 360 photo. Uh, we hadn't written a single line of code, but Philip was able to secure $30,000 in actual commitments, as in sign contracts to buy the software once we had it built. And, and at that point, I knew it was, it was time to take the leap with him and, and leave my job and, and pursue this full time. So in late 2016, uh, Struction Site was born, and we added two technical co-founders, Dan Zito and Manuel Zamora, to build out the product. From the beginning, one of the things that always separated us from other teams in the space is that experience of actually working in the field. Uh, we are not here to disrupt the construction industry. We're, we're solving problems that my co-founder, Philip, and, and other early people here, including uh, Brandon Williams, one of our product managers, actually faced in the field as builders. Um, so we're just very connected to the problems that we're solving. So let's take a look and shift gears a little bit to how does this product actually work? What are we doing today at Struction Site? Uh, 
Uh, the user walks the job site recording a video with a consumer grade 360 degree camera you can buy on amazon.com. Our software uses the same vision and navigation technology you might find in a self-driving car to reconstruct that path on the drawing and actually place those photos in the correct spot uh, on, the, on the floor plan. And the result feels a lot like a Google Street View. You can navigate from spot to spot. You can look around in 360 degrees. And, uh, and this is our site documentation product. This is the beginning of, of digitizing the physical job site. And for our customers, this does a number of things. It uh, reduces their rework. So when you have accurate documentation of what's in your slabs and behind your walls, you're, you're not poking through drywall and you're not chipping out concrete. It's saving them money on travel. There's just less travel you have to do back and forth to the job site when you can access it from anywhere. It's reducing their legal risk where there are change orders, delay claims, any sort of thing that comes up legally, location-based date stamped photo documentation cures a lot of that uh, and, and really impress their client. So this is a way that our customers are creating a level of transparency with their client that, that their clients tend to appreciate and helps them win more business. And, and when we add all these things up, we're documenting a $5,000 savings per $1 million of construction volume. And what that means for our customers is they're getting a 10x return or higher on their investment in our software, which is something that our team is extremely proud of. But we are not stopping with 360 degree photos and virtual job site tours. The next evolution of our software is called SmartTrack. And it's taking the 360 degree photo data from our site documentation platform and automatically extracting progress and production data. What that means for our customers is for the first time ever, all they need is a camera and a set of 2D drawings, and we can accurately and reliably track work that is happening on the job site. We started with the wall and ceiling trade. So we are now automatically detecting quantities of work installed, production rates, and percent complete for that scope of work. Everything from framing to acoustical ceiling tile, soffits, all our customer has to do is send us their quantity takeoff data and record a video. Uh, it has never been this easy for anybody in construction to have a clear and accurate picture of whether they're on track to make money or meet their schedule. We, of course, realize that there are a number of other critical path scopes of work well beyond walls and ceilings, some uh, that may be near and dear to you all. And, and of course, the next one that, that, that does land on our radar, one of them at least, is concrete. Uh, I think we've got a statistic that 30% of concrete pours on any given week are pushed or delayed. The actual cost for the project of a pour delay can be enormous. And of course, there's also a cost to the supplier that is to keep those trucks sitting around or dump that concrete out because it can't be used. So our goal with SmartTrack Concrete is for there to be you know, an ability to use this image data that we're already collecting during site documentation. They're capturing what's in the slab as, as they're getting ready for the pour but that, to now be able to track the events leading up to that pour, including form work, form liner, PT cable, and all these other in-slab conditions, and how are those progressing so that we can catch delays earlier in the process before they're extremely costly. So this version of the product is still in closed beta, but keep an eye out for it later this year as we get closer to launch. Over time, we really want to be tracking all critical path scopes of work so that builders have this you know, comprehensive view of how their project is progressing. I'll wrap up by saying here that uh, we're at the very beginning of this journey to explore the value that we can bring the construction industry by automatically capturing and quantifying what's happening on a job site using this combination of cameras and computer vision. I think one of the most exciting things to watch in the next decade here is, is how one of the largest industries in the world, construction, that really not only embraces digital technologies, but starts to realize the value of using data to make better decisions, both at the project level and at the business level, and maybe even at the supplier level as well. Uh, it's going to be an amazing ride. Obviously, our team is extremely excited. We're super grateful for our customers for taking this journey with us and our investors for believing in our vision for the future as well. Uh, in particular, definitely wanna wrap up by saying a huge thank you to the Semex Ventures team and really the entire Semex family. Uh, you guys have been an amazing partner. We appreciate all the help you guys have given us over the years. 